What's going on and welcome back to another gear review and setup and in this video we're going to be going over the Noise Fighters Pano Bridge. Now this guy is going to cost you anywhere from about 500 to 600 bucks depending on where you go to purchase it. Whether you purchase it directly through Noise Fighters or you go through any one of the night vision dealers and distributors that is selling night vision goggles as well as accessories and devices and everything that you need to set up night vision uh, on your helmet or on your weapon system. So. Before I get into the actual pano bridge, I do want to say that the PBS-14 is a very adaptable system when it comes down to it. You can set these up on a rifle, you can set them up on a helmet, you can set them up on a skull crusher. So you have a lot of different avenues and capabilities when it comes to the setup and adapting this system to what you need specifically. Where some of the other systems that are out there that are binocular are going to be a little bit more restricted to just running on a skull crusher or a... Uh, helmet so with this i really do like the system just because of the diversity and adaptability of it overall and the pano bridge just adds to all of that taking this system from a monocular to a binocular to then also a panoramic system so the amount of things that you get with the pbs 14 in conjunction with this mount system or pano bridge is hard to beat and when I first heard about the Pano Bridge, I was kind of like, oh, it's just another bridge, you know. I didn't really know a whole lot about it, but not a whole lot was kind of talked about when it came to this system when it first entered into the market. Um, I assumed, really, it was just another bridge. And then after some research, a couple of guys kind of catching wind of what it was all about and articulating, hey, dude, this isn't just another bridge. Like, this thing is going to give you so much more capabilities and uh, it can be adapted in all of these different ways. I started taking a deeper look into it and found that this thing is phenomenal. And I don't think any other bridge really competes with this system. So it is worth the investment, although that price tag is pretty high. One for the super robust composite materials that they're using to build this. And then how lightweight this thing is in conjunction with what it does when it comes to giving you that panoramic capability. So when looking at this thing straight out of the box, uh, first and foremost, you're going to get this little mini rail arm for thermal devices. So you can run thermal and PBS-14 together with this system. I prefer just running PBS-14 just because that's how I like to run night vision. I'm not a big thermal person. I know that they have a lot of capabilities and can be um, a huge kind of, I don't want to say a force multiplier, but it definitely can give you the edge in certain certain situations and scenarios and environments but for right now I'm just running night vision just because that is uh, what I really have been wanting to work on and expand my knowledge on when it comes to really owning the night even though I ran PVS 7s, 14s, 15s, 31s, um, RNVGs, DTNVGs, DTNVSs and then briefly played around with the panoramic uh, GPNVG um, I've spent I don't, almost 10 years now with all of these systems and the PVS-14 is by far the most adaptable, uh, although some of the other systems do give you some unique capabilities. But with this, I think this definitely changes the game with night vision. One for building inexpensive night vision systems uh, and saving you some money on the back end when it comes to comparing these to something like the DTNVS, DTNVG, and PVS-31. So with that, when it comes to the overall like setup and configuration of this, uh, it is made out of that lightweight composite material, uh, definitely well under a pound. Uh, it's only a couple of ounces when it comes down to it. You have your dovetail up top here, so that gives you uh, the ability to run this in both the Notoros and Wilcox mounts. Uh, both of these arms will articulate up and down, so you have the ability to run this on or run this kind of in in a similar configuration as a DTNVG, DTNVS, PVS-15. You actually get more movement out of these than the PVS-15 does, and then also the PVS-31. So comparing this to some of those other systems, you definitely get a lot of just up and down rotation and the ability to move these completely out of your way when working at night. So that way, if you need to just work under a light, you don't have to worry about these being in your way. So uh, with that, you also have the panoramic adjustments. You can see just right here uh, in my hands that it doesn't look like much, but when you start 
or when you throw the uh, night vision device, PVS-14 night vision devices on this panoramic bridge, it definitely changes the angles quite a bit to where it is a substantial difference when you're looking through this system compared to just a binocular system. So uh, the cool thing with this is you can set it up in just a standard binocular configuration, giving you roughly that 40 degree field of view. And then when you open these up and then adjust for that panoramic capability, it's going to give you about 75 degree field of view. So uh, it does feel like a lot more than that when you actually have these things on. But the cool thing with how you can configure these is if you want to go to that full 75 degree panoramic view, it does feel like the middle is very like sharp and narrow um, and you get a little bit of overlap. Uh, I don't particularly like it that much when it comes to opening these up all the way because it kind of it takes a little bit to get used to and can kind of like trick your eyes a little bit but if you close these in just a little bit it makes it feel like you have the GPNVG on to a certain degree and uh, it feels like that panoramic view is pretty similar to that where you just have one solid field of view and it doesn't look like you have two monoculars uh, that you're looking through and then having kind of that little bit of like black or dead space in the middle so um, I like running them a little bit more closer together but if you want to run them open all the way just know that it does take a little bit of time to get used to but once you get used to it it does feel pretty pretty solid across the board um, with just a little bit of dead space in the middle of it so uh, that's really what it all kind of boils down to with these things uh, when it comes to setting them up on the night vision you have a screw for each PVS 14 or if you want to throw the thermal on here you can also get that as well uh, so they'll just go right on there and uh, uh, just remember that the Pano Bridge uh, label on the front here is the front and then the back side is right here where you can see those uh, nuts right there. So, um, yeah, I mean, dude, when it comes down to these things, I think it is a huge game changer. I think it will definitely make a big difference when setting up night vision, making things really affordable and competitive compared to purchasing some of the more expensive night vision devices out there, like the DTNVS, the PVS31, and then even the uh, the GPNVG. So I would highly recommend considering this before going and purchasing something more expensive because you can set these up with white FOSS tubes. You can set them up with green if you want to cut costs a little bit there. And then honestly, when it comes down to the extra money that you're going to have left over in comparison to buying some of those other systems, I would recommend taking that money and investing in training. I mean, in the future, I'll be doing some night vision classes and all that. I'm actually setting up four PVS 14s. Uh, I've got four lasers in on the way right now uh, to be able to teach and do night vision classes for people that don't have the money to uh, purchase night vision, but that way they can get that experience and then determine long term if they want to make that investment or not. So uh, definitely a way of helping um, people that don't have the budget right off the bat to uh, kind of get a better idea of what that capability looks like. And I'll have both green and white PVS 14. So that way uh, you can see what it looks like through just a single monocular as well as a binocular with these um, panoramic or yeah pano bridges. So uh, with that, I highly recommend it. I would recommend this over any of the other pano or any of the other PVS 14 bridges that are on the market. This guy is a phenomenal system, and I think that uh, you should definitely consider this and then invest in some really good training and or over purchasing something a little bit more expensive uh, because honestly when it comes down to building these assembling them getting them repaired it is a lot uh, more inexpensive compared to some of those other systems where the price tag can, can start stacking up really really quick so um, most of the parts for the PBS 14 are pretty cheap they're gonna be under 250 bucks the lenses both front and rear or the eyepiece in the front lens is where the big piece of money is as well as the housing those are about 150 bucks each and then your image intensifier on the inside is going to range from a thousand for something that's blemished that you can buy off eBay to 2500 for a new green tube all the way up to 3500 for a white FOSS tube so um, yeah when it comes down to it I highly recommend them and uh, I highly recommend the the noise fighters Pano bridge because it will 
It will give you the ability to adapt a PVS-14 from a rifle setup to a monocular setup to a binocular setup all the way up to a pano, uh, panoramic setup and configuration. So you just get way more for your money when it comes to this setup and configuration versus all of the other binocular systems that are out there. So uh, with that, this whole setup that you see right here costs about 6500 bucks. I think total, I got a couple of used parts. Um, and then I got a couple of new parts, put everything together, and uh, and yeah, I mean it is it is very affordable when it comes down to it. So it, it is a bit of an investment, but if you want to make that investment, I would highly recommend this. Buy a really good laser with that, and then uh, just pay for really really good training. Find guys that have been in special operations that have used these systems before, and have extensive experience. Uh, operating at night so that way you're getting the most out of your training so with that if you have any questions please feel free leave a comment we'll help you out in any way that we can and uh, if we don't have the questions we'll refer to no or if we don't have the answers we'll refer to noise fighter to help uh, articulate any of those more specific questions and then um, yeah with that like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time